Hi guys, in this part seven, the madness continues as our Muslim apologist Hamza makes three different claims where I actually, well, I disagree with one and the other two I agree with. How is this possible? Well, for one, I'm not a bigot and quite capable of accepting something that I find to be true, regardless of who says it. But then, then I'm also able to change my mind if I'm presented with something that I find compelling and a better description than the one I currently have in my head. That is totally possible. Hamza still doesn't understand belief and proof and all these things that are too much for his brain. Yeah, you can hold any belief, but as soon as you tell me about it, this constitutes a claim and I can question that belief and the reasons that led to that belief. So many different religions, so many different worldviews. Um, and therefore they can't all be correct. Yes, it is correct that there are hundreds if not thousands of gods and ideologies. Can they all be correct? No. Can they all be wrong? Yes. It is no longer a personal belief now, but a general knowledge claim. And what is the more important question to go and investigate? And what would an honest person or a person with integrity, what would they do? Well, they would investigate whether or not the own conviction is based upon delusion and wishful thinking, or whether there are good reasons for why they believe what they believe. Now, unfortunately, Muslims can't really do that because the Islam virus stops them from doing that. Now, I, for myself, I have investigated this and found there is no good reason to believe gods or goddesses exist. And so I don't. Hamza claims he has reasons. So why can't I question them? Why does he call me a hater simply for questioning the reasons for his belief? So if you want to hate, you can hate on your own channel. But if not. his reasons are indeed good reasons I have not thought of, well, then I would want to know about this since it would be important not to screw this up. But unfortunately, he runs away from me. He's too scared of being confronted with questions he might not be able to answer. The opposite, actually, of what the Quran commands him to do. And yeah, we believe a lot of things without hard and irrefutable evidence. Yeah, it's true, because they're either insignificant or we have good reasons to believe them. We believe the pilot is capable of flying a plane. When you go to the doctors, you believe the doctor is capable of administering medicine. Yeah, it is rare that a person can imitate, pretend or project being a pilot or a doctor, but it does happen. I mean, you're absolutely right. Because if our good reasons are tricked, then, yep, we are going to believe false things. And I agree, I should not believe something without good reasons. But there is not a single, not one good reason why I should believe gods or goddesses exist who tell me talking ants and flying donkeys exist and that semen is produced in the lungs. So all the things Hamza has ever brought up that I'm aware of have been refuted, debunked and ridiculed. But he still believes he has good reasons because his blinkers allow him to ignore reality and he is not honest enough to actually allow someone to question his beliefs. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was part seven. See you in part eight, I hope.